Have you ever wanted to minimize lag on your Minecraft server? Or are you looking at ways to prevent lag on an upcoming server that you are creating? Well, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to prevent the majority of lag that you will ever receive on your Minecraft server using a free plugin called Fast Chunk Pregenerator. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me help more people in the Minecraft server hosting community. And if you get lost at any point throughout this video, just make sure to join my Discord server where I always provide support to anybody who ever needs it. If you are looking for server hosting, I always recommend going for the most bang for the buck server host, Cryhosting. Cryhosting is a server host that offers servers for $2 a gigabyte on the fastest CPU in the world, the Ryzen 9 5950X. Get your server today at cryhosting.net and make sure you use code HIGHPURITY for 20% off your server. So what exactly are we going to be doing here? Because a very large portion of the lag that your server will ever have is from your server generating new chunks, we can prevent your server from ever having to generate new chunks altogether by completely pre-generating your world. Now, if you are running on decently modern hardware, then this tutorial is most likely enough to prevent most, if not all, lag on your server. However, if you're running older hardware or plan on having lots and lots of users on your server, then you may need to consider alternative options, such as a more optimized server.jar file. If this pertains to you, make sure to subscribe with post notifications on, as I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this very, very soon. Now, how exactly do we pre-generate chunks on our Minecraft server? Well, it's really simple to set up. Start off by navigating to the first link in the video description, where you're going to see a spigot page that looks something like this. Once you've gotten here, you'll need to download this plugin by pressing on the download button right over here. And as always, never forget to press save. Next, navigate to your server's plugins folder and then upload your newly downloaded plugin to this folder right here. After doing this, make sure you restart your server. And just like that, your chunk generation plugin is now installed. All that's left to do now is some minimal configuration and then we will be completely good to go. To configure your pre-generation plugin, navigate back to your plugins folder, then into the fast chunk pre-generator folder, and then finally into the configuration.yml file right here. This is where we will be making most of the configuration changes. Now, pre-generation takes time and lots and lots of server resources. If you're running a currently active server, I'd either recommend having a day of downtime to just pre-generate your server, or if your server has a low player count and is sometimes inactive, change this option here at the bottom to true. And if this is at true, it'll basically only generate chunks on your server when there's no players on the server. Right alongside this, you'll need to ask yourself if you're running paper as your server.jar file. You can find this out by running the version command in your console. So if I run version right here, I'll check my version, and as you can see, I'm running paper version, which means I am currently running paper on my server. If you do find out that you are running paper, you're going to want to change this option right here to true, as it reduces lag overall on your server. The final thing that you're going to want to edit is this option right here. As it says in the configuration file, you'll want to change this number to four times the amount of cores you have on your server. If you don't know how many cores you have on your server, just leave it as it is, it'll probably be fine overall. However, since I do have two cores allocated to the server, I'm gonna put an eight here, because two times four is eight. After you've made these changes to your configuration file, just make sure you save your changes and then restart your Minecraft server. Once all of this configuration is done, all that is really left to do is to start the pre-generation process. In order to do this properly, you're gonna wanna set up a world border. You can do this by running the command slash world border set and then the amount of blocks wide you want your world border to be. So since just good, a good number for a Minecraft SMP server is around 50,000 blocks, I'm going to set this to 50000. Then I'm just going to press enter and then it'll say it set the world border to that size. After creating your world border, to start the generation, all you really need to do is to run the command slash fcp fill vanilla 20 and then your world name here. So most worlds are just named world. Then just put enter and then it'll start your generation process. If you've done all of this correctly, your server will now be ready to create your world. If you get an error message or this plugin just doesn't work for some reason, make sure to join my Discord server where I'll help you with this plugin. 
But with all of that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.